Today we have women's cross country head coach Ray Putnam for a season preview interview. Coach, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Uh, your teams have been training here for over a week. Yes. Uh, just talk about how things are going so far. Um, it's a really hard working group of women. They're very close knit. Um, they're bonding very, very well. They're a group of extremely hard workers. I'm of women I've coached, I've been coaching women for 20 years, I've got to give credit as the hardest working group I've had at least the first week in a couple of days. Wow, that's great. Um, now you're, you're headed up by a pretty good group of uh, returning runners, including uh, reigning GNAC champion Amber Dosty, Ashley Condon as a captain, um, some other youthful runners that have a year of collegiate running under their belt and a year in your system. Um, going into your second year as a coach, uh, talk about their influence on the younger athletes and how they've developed from last year into this year. Well, the most important thing is they understand the system now and they buy into the system. Mm. And for any new coach, especially a third coach in three years, um, the athletes are going to be a little apprehensive when you walk into the door. Uh, they've heard three different, this is the third philosophy they've heard in three years. And it took a while for them to understand what I was doing. One of the things that we do that was very foreign to them is we run tired right up through until we decide to peak. And we'll have a hard workout before regular season meets. And they weren't used to that. And they also weren't used to going out quick. For 5K, my philosophy is to get out quick, get your muscle memory kicking in so, you're at a, so, you're, so your muscles are firing at a home higher muscle memory and you're working within the training system which is a muscle memory training and they didn't quite understand that once they got the drift of that they were able to understand that when they went out quick they ran much faster um, Ashley Condon for instance when she started getting out quick she dropped her best 5k time by a minute in one week so wow. she understands that now and she's able to she's able to communicate that to the new runners so they have an understanding, not just from me explaining to them what we're doing, but the upperclassmen that have had success in the system. So they're able to get a good understanding of what we're doing. Um, now, from, from conversations with you in the past uh, a couple days here, uh, your freshman group, your, your incoming group is uh, about the hiccups here. Um, pretty impressive, and they're pushing your returners. Just kind of talk about that a little bit. Well, Amber Dosti, as you said, is the returning GNAC champion. Last year, she was runner of the year and rookie of the year. And she's very quick. She's very talented. But we have a runner, Lauren Rabideau, that in practice is right with her. And they're battling in practice every day. And the significance of this is it gives us a very good one-two punch. But it also allows us, in practice, to have someone that can train with her. Because last year, she had almost two minutes on the nearest person on the team. So now she has somebody right with her. So last year we had to throw her in with the men a lot just to get her to be pushed. And that's a difficult situation to put a young woman in. Now she can run with her teammate and she's being pushed. And it's a lot more significant in practice when you have your teammate on your side pushing you. You may not feel like you have to sprint full speed if you're trying to beat one of the men on the team. But when you're trying to beat somebody who's like going after your spot, um, you can see that both of them really like each other. But there's a strong competitive fire on both of them. That's great. Um, now, sixth place finish last year in the GNAC Championship down in Boston, and of course this year it's at Riviera College in Nashua. Um, now, I don't expect you to, to uh, give a full-scale uh, prediction, but how do you think your team shapes up as early in the year like this, looking at the GNAC Championship, which is quite a ways away? Um, you know, you always want to go into a season being optimistic, and so you're always, you're always looking for being the GNAC champion. You're not looking to go in and be sixth place. We were looking, we actually had a team last year that could have been GNAC champions. Um, we just didn't run well the day of the GNACs. And earlier in the year, we were only 18 points behind Johnson and Wales. And in the GNACs, we kind of fell off pace, had kind of a rough day. We actually had a much better meet in the ECACs. Um, so it's hard to say we can peak our team when we want to peak them, but we had some circumstances that didn't work out well for us in the GNACs last year. But I think this year um, we should be in the thick of it. 
Excellent. Now your season starts with the head-to-head uh, -head meet against University of New England just in a couple of days. Um, talk about that, just kind of warming up, into the, getting into the season with the with the meet against just one opponent. Uh, talk about how you expect that to go on, on Saturday. I'm not real worried about this meet. I'm more mm -hmm. concerned about the minutiae of the meet because it's a home meet to make sure that um, it's a well-run meet. Mm -hmm. But my team is going to be running tired. We're working hard, they're going to be running tired. And hopefully they they do well. We haven't beaten UNE in, um, I don't know when we've beaten UNE, to tell you the truth. Uh, looking at the historical documents, I've never seen a victory uh, against them. So UNE is a very good program. They're very tough. My goal is just to see where the team is right now. And I'm not going to lay back on them and take it easy on them for a regular season meet. Something like this I see more as like a glorified practice to get us prepared for the bigger meets. Which began um, just next weekend at UNE. Right. In Invitational in Biddeford. Um, talk about your schedule this year a little, a little bit. You're at Keene State again. Um, after the run at Monks, which is hosted here on the St. Joe's campus on October 6th, you go right into the championship season. Just talk about the composition of your of your of your schedule and how that works for your runners. Well, because of the way the championship season runs, where you have the GNAC championships, then you have the ECA season, you have the national qualifier, mm -hmm. and before the GNAC championships, you actually have the state of Maine um, championship. So we really start focusing when we get to the GNAC championships. That's when we start to peak our runners. So. You have three significant meets right back to back. And then you have nationals after the qualifier. And hopefully this year we'll be able to bring somebody to nationals. That would be a nice. Um, Absolutely. So, um, so you really, on these regular season meets, they really have to be focused at as, as getting used to running, getting prepared to run, learning how to run fast, learning how to position yourself. If you go out and you take every one of these meets seriously, and the athletes have to understand this as well. If they go in and they take every one of these meets as serious as a big meet, mm -hmm. mentally they'll be burnt out before the end of the season. So I, I keep telling them, go out quick this meet, take off. If you fall flat on your face and don't run a great time, fine. Because when we get down to GNAX and you take off quick, you're not going to fall flat on your face because you you're going to be used to going out quick. Right, you learn from it. So. Um, a meet that I would consider significant this year, uh, the only regular season meet that I see as significant this year is the Riviera meet. And that's because the championships are at Riviera. Right. And so I want my team to know that course. So we're not going to go in there and try to burn up the course, but we want to learn the how to run that course so when we get to championships they have an understanding of it. All right, Coach, is there anything else you want to add about your women's team? Um, I think it's going to be a great year, um, just a great, hard-working team. I'm very impressed with them. A lot of great newcomers, as you said. Um, make sure you get out there and support the team. We've got two home meets this year. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the outcome and how entertaining cross-country is. All right, thanks for your time, Coach. Good You're luck welcome. this season.